All right. What's your name? Where are you from? And how old are you? My name's Dara James Edward Wade O'Hagan. I'm from London. I'm from London. I'm Irish, but I, as London as they come. I'm the only one in my family with an English accent. And I'm 35 years young. 35 years young. And this is your second time in Thailand? It's my second time in Thailand, yeah. Second time. First time Phuket? First time in Phuket, First yeah. First time Phuket. Uh, been training Muay Thai at what gym? Dragon Gym. Come down. Come over here to train hard. Um, was intimidated when I was going to come. I was staying at a hotel that was called Dara. and spelled exactly the same as my name. So I stayed there for a week, for the first week that I was there. Um, life's pretty sagab, sagab. My life's pretty, I have quite a busy life. I have quite a busy brain. I have things in my head that I, that I, I don't stop. So when I got to, um, when I got to Hotel Dara, I was chilled chilled out and I was just happy chilling and then I finally come down to the soy and it was intimidating it's intimidating to come I've wanted to train in I've wanted to train Muay Thai uh, well combat sports for the last four years I've done it twice loved it to be honest probably one of the best things I've ever done and I just didn't, and I've done it twice, and and then I just didn't go back. I don't know why. Um, still in, still just getting into the gym and going in there is just scary, scary. So then I decide to come to a place where they all train, all big. You've got train killers all around the place. So I thought, yeah, you're intimidated to go to the gym. Then why don't you go over here? Mm. And I come over here, and then I checked out the hotel, and I was worried about spending too much money and how things cost. And I found a place just outside the soil, literally a minute's drive away, which was a hundred pound for the month, which is four thousand baht for the whole month. And then I just put, and then I cut, and then I went to Dragon, to because I, I, I see Dragon on a YouTube video. I didn't even know about this place, and then I text my mate to say like, because I had three options. Yeah, I was gonna come to Thailand and train. I was gonna go to Vietnam and finish Vietnam on a motorbike because I only travelled a little bit of it and I wanted to do the whole thing or I was going to go on a mad one in um, Nicaragua but the least one that I wanted to do was come out and train and I thought that is what you've got to do so come out here to train and I did train would like to be a lot further ahead than I am but I also at the same time I realised that I realised like when I go back, when I go back home, like I'm gonna be very busy. I've got big, big plans. So I know full well that what I wanted to learn here, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be learning that back in England. And I just the way the stars aligned, I come and check. So anyway, I come and checked into this place. Sorry, I'm going from point to point or whatever. This place is Siam Villa by the way. <coughs> and uh, yeah, for, I was worried about, I was worried about, um, I know I'm jumping from thing to thing here, but like, I'm, it's emotional, for, but today's an emotional day, so I've got a million and one things running around my head. So when I was in, when I was in that hotel, I was worried about coming down here. I thought, oh, I'm not even going to be able to buy a beer or anything because I just thought it's just pure fitness. And then I somehow I checked that place out. It was a hundred, and then I had this place, 
No, I didn't have this place. There was a place at the start up near Tiger, which I think was like eight thousand. Was like eight thousand a week or something like that. I don't know. Can't remember. And I was so I got. I was on the phone to my mum and I said, "Ah, oh, shall I?" stay in this hundred pound place which is a little bit out of the street or shall I stay in that place and she said stay in this in the soy on the street because like you'll be around that sort of energy and then anyway so I went to Dragon booked myself in a Dragon and then as I was leaving Dragon I thought oh check this place out and I First off, I checked it out. They didn't have any rooms to stay. And then I think a day later, when I went training and then I come out, I went and asked them again. It turned out to be Jip. And I, she said, yeah, you can check in, which was like two days later or something. Um, and because the place was opposite the gym, I thought, right, you can go training and you're literally a 20 second walk away from it. And then it turns out that I got put in this room that we're looking at now. Next, and, and around here, around this place. And I got put in next to Gav, who turns out to be, Gav lives next door, who turns out to be a very, we have a lot of, well, we, we're like, we know the same things. And uh, like I couldn't have been put anywhere. Could have been put. I could have been been put next to just like Russians and Dagestanis that I could never talk to. But I've been put opposite Scott. Lives over there. The only reason you can't hear him talking is because he ain't here. If he was here, he'd be talking. <laughs> and uh, Gav. And then I didn't meet Chris and but didn't meet Chris until he came along. Uh, the next day and then we're all like we're all brothers now and it's just funny how the world turns mm. so I know you're gonna be emotional leaving today at some point you might even shed some tears it's okay I've seen it before I've captured it on camera from other mates and like I said if you're not if you're not emotional you never you didn't make any real connections out here you're emotional because you made real connections you're leaving boys friends whatever you know what I mean experiences um, but uh, just to wrap it up because we're almost at 10 minutes if you could um, is that 10 minutes? at 8 minutes right now <laughs> if you could if you could explain your experience in Thailand in one word or in one sentence what would it be? never goes the way that you think it's gonna go it changes you as a human being it changes your mindset and you meet people that you love and um, that love you <coughs> and you always leave it with a feeling that you never had when you came. Mm, well said, well said. So if anybody's watching these videos from England, which I highly doubt, but you never know, drop them your company name. Oh yeah, so if you're in London and you need home improvements or, <coughs> oh, that's not a good, good one. <laughs> yeah, company names are the fencing, A-R-D-A. It's the uh, anagram of my name. It's Arda, A-R-D-A, Fencing and Landscaping. And we are based in West London. And if you want the best company, you want the best uh, landscaping company in London, then I'm not, that sounded cheesy saying that, but we literally are <laughs> yeah, the best. Be real so. though, you know? <clears throat> yeah, sorry about coughing and that. It's just went a little bit wild last night. But um, yeah, Arda Fencing and Landscaping, you'll find us on Google, just type in Arda Fencing and it'll come straight up. And uh, yeah, 
thank, thanks for listening or hey, thanks for making a video. Good stuff, my bro. Hey, listen, safe travels back home to London. Gonna miss you. I know we still got four or five more hours, but for video purposes, it's been a pleasure, my boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, love, love you, my brother. Yeah, love, love you, you, man. Love you, man. All right. Love you. Tara! Papa! Papa and Sanchai! You, you alright? Yeah, you're good. Can sit with you? Yeah. Good, good. You okay, Papa? Say bye to my. Okay, you talk about the bird. He say every time when he fight, he check about story of him uh, partner and looking on the tip how style him fight. What the very good of him because that's what he try to be do. Sit there, looking there and try ticket. That's what he said. The penis meditation. And we know your style makes many traditional techniques into the modern Muay Thai. Do you think it's good to go back to the roots and learn Muay Boran and ancient boxing to mix with our modern Muay Thai? So we're here with Sanchai, he's doing a seminar at uh, Tiger Muay Thai. And, uh, he snuck in. If you can do very this for him, you know the first Thai fighter from before, you know, like uh, they fight before and now, different fight, right? Muay Boran, you talk about them very slow, but look up, look beautiful. Different this Muay Thai person right now. You know, he said, if you can decide to get the team, they do it. Any question? Oh, come on. Uh, how many days do you train and how many hours per day? And uh, what do you think? The, uh, <coughs> right, so how many? Six times per week or five? Uh, so if you can ask him that. You want to go one last? 
่าเช้าก็สองทุ่มบ่ายก็สามทุ่มอ่าอินเทรนนิ่งอินเดอะมอร์นิ่งเป็นทูเฮาส์และอัฟเทอร์นูนเป็นเป็นทรีเฮาส์ทุกวันที่ดูอินจะสอนอีเมย์ไทยออเดอร์สเตอร์สุดที่จะเมย์ไทยอันนี้เยอะ Something that Jesse has to regular have to do is very very basic of every sport. <laughs> okay, let me tell you somebody. She run every single day. She run every single day. Because that Chinese Chinese, you know, every day, right? Yes. Every day, 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 A uh, program part, you know, in the morning, in, uh, he run about 10 kilometers, and afternoon, about just three kg. Uh, no, no, just three kilometers because he speak to train more than the run, right? When he go hot in the morning, not too hot, but speak to run. So, madam, pardon? How about you have program spin uh, running on the? Why? 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 And you can chant? Sorry, who brought you, right? You just tell them, right? Ask me. What is your advice when you fight a taller opponent? Someone bigger. What would you advise? Quickly, quickly. You have to space them. Faster than you have them, something like that. Because you can slow. Then too tall. If you faster, you can beat them also. Cannot slow. If you slow, that's hard for you. Can't beat you, right? Okay, brother. Out of your entire career, what is your favorite fight that you've been in, and why? Favorite fight. 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 ชนะมวยลำหนึ่งของยูทีวีดีและต่อยสองลูกหนึ่งของคนเดียวอะไรอย่างเงี้ยวันทางยูนอฟจูบิดีสเตเดียมดีเอฟออทูเดสดีเอฟดีเอฟดีเอฟทูไฟเตอร์เดเบสบัฟฮิมโอโซเดเบสบัฟทูเพอร์ซันยูนอฟทูเกเตอร์ฮิมอารอนเดสวันฮิมเกปโร Pinka and Liam. That's when the 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 person he must get to him. Oh, so sorry, brother. สวัสดีครับคุณคุณชอบ one championship ไหมโอ้ไม่ได้ไม่ใช่จังนี่สั่งให้ฮัมส์ยูโน่ around ไทยเดียวไม่ได้ speak to him ยูโน่บีคอร์ไม่ได้มวยไทย so ยูโน่ talk about him แฟนชายไปวิตเอ่อ one championship ทำตีไรนะ and เอาสวยเหรอเบาคุณจะตีมีคำอยู่เลย Okay, for him planning right now, he has planning for this work hard. Hmm, this new fight on the table. Yes. About on number eight of the April. Eight of April, he fight this work hard for number one lady in the world. Okay, Sophia, bye. How old were you when you hit your first cartwheel kick? And how many times uh, have you practiced? How long, how often do you practice it? Uh, 
Oh, this one about Mahdi, you know. You know, you know, sometimes signature him Mahdi, you know, but him not show sure yet, everyone will see, right? He not show sure yet, he say, cannot do, because the power authority say, that's one not Muay Thai, not Muay Thai thing. You know, it's a wrong, something, you know, but that's one he speak very good. I say, uh, and also today he have show you, buddy. What would be another goal you would like to achieve in Muay Thai? Yeah. He wants everyone uh, around the world know about the Muay Thai, something like that. Right? What's up, buddy? Forty-two right now. Just two, three years. Couple, couple, couple year about that before we did, right? What is your favorite kick? Favorite kick? Chop. Oh, you have to kick. That's what he likes. Mm. Also, ah, oh, oh, oh. You consider being a southpaw uh, an advantage or a handicap, and you have any advice for southpaw? <laughs> <laughs> advice for fighting against southpaw? No, being a southpaw. <laughs> <laughs> Not different because if you never there also you don't know about I have it also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ก็มีบ้างสองมันเจ็บแล้วก็เลื่อนไม่ได้ <laughs> But I also would like to see some of the Are you jumping in? Can I borrow your gear? You want the gear? Can I? It's yeah. disgusting. You I don't sure care. You do this? Yeah. Okay, okay. Adam, what you doing right now, bro?
good to see you again back in the channel. From who? The boss. Who's the boss? Oh, this guy? Turn around. See if he does it. Is it a good seminar? Talk. You got the spa with him, huh? That's, that was the What? See, you were one of the lucky 15 that got the spa, yeah. right? And you got your ass swept in about what? Nine seconds? I've got the video. <laughs> you hit him with the shuffle step though, did yeah, you? You got him with a little shuffle. A little shuffle. I'm gonna see you again. I'm gonna turn around. Yeah, I'll get him. Just try to get him. I wonder if this just takes us around the dam.
me and uh, Scotty Donuts just took a little uh, random side streets. We uh, stumbled upon the dam, and uh, look what we just found up some random hill. Let's see what this view looks like. Well, first, let's check this out. Well, no, let's check out the view first. Damn. Look at that. What do you say, Donuts? Why calling yourself a donut? You are what you eat. Well, then you're a fish. I'm a fish. And then you're a, you're a damn lamb kebab. Right. Lamb wrap. Alright, I found the way we need to go. Hold on. Let's see what this is. You need to give them scale, bro. Scale? Yeah. Let go. I'm gonna get in front. What do you mean get in front? So now they get the scale of it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, we don't know what this is. This is, uh, we got the dam right down there. We're in Phuket up some random hill. And uh, this looks like to be some sort of shrine. It's pretty well up kept. You know, there's nothing here. Looks like people are still coming and lighting incense and making offerings. So, uh, yeah, if I had any incense, in fact, maybe I should just buy some and start doing that. Anyways, up coon pump. So, uh, Donuts took us down. The secret road. Alright, Ragnar took us down the secret road, which is uh, leads you to Patong, apparently. But, uh. Apparently, calling me a liar now. Yeah, yeah, well, this still haven't reached there, but. Man, I don't know. This road is all dirt, it's all gravel. It's sketchy as fuck. There's nobody on this road. And you got views like this shit. And we saw wild fucking elephants. Donuts. Thank <laughs> you. 